I'm Jack Mathis, Bus Star Class of 2013. I have two of my current classmates with me, Ms. Shelby Key, Mr. Martin Jelnick. Guys, how are you today? Doing good. Doing good. 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 We'll get started. What was your, Martin, what was your current community involvement prior to West Star? Prior to West Star, um, I'm on several boards, the Carl Perkins Center Board, the Therapy and Learning Center Board. I'm basically the nonprofit web designer for a lot of these uh, uh, community service uh, organizations that need an online presence. So I do a lot of work for them. Um, involved with Leadership Jackson still and the Tennessee Association of Community Leadership, Tackle. Okay. Um, there's just just a lot of different things. Okay, great, great. Shelby, what about you? I serve on the American Red Cross Board, the Gibson County Carl Perkins Center, Patriot Equity Credit Union, Tennessee Association of Community Leadership Board of Directors as well. Um, I'm involved in Exchange Club in Gibson County, as well as facilitating the Gibson County Adult and Youth Leadership Program. Yeah, great. Two are very active. No doubt about yeah, that. I forgot about Exchange. <laughs> of course. Of course. Exchange as well. I served as the state uh, president. Absolutely. Okay. All right. Um, how has West Star helped to shape your views as far as, obviously you're both very involved in the community on a local basis. How has West Star helped shape your views on expanding that community involvement to a brighter uh, broader scope within our region. So. Well, I feel like regionalism is so important anyway, and I think West Star really epitomizes that as far as bringing the leaders together to really make the regional mindset work. You know, I mean, you can do it within your own community, but this really branches it out to encompass all of West Tennessee, the state, and just the entire region. So I think it's going to be beneficial overall. Great. My experience in West Tennessee basically was Memphis, Jackson, Nashville. This is opening it up north and south, getting to know community leaders and people that are in the class on a personal level. And I think those kind of uh, networking opportunities, you just can't get anywhere else. And uh, just broadening the, uh, the whole horizon for, for the experience that I'm going to have and hopefully the uh, things that I can help with in, um, in the region. Sure. I agree. I, I think those connections are, are going to be invaluable to, to all of us. Uh, how has the West Star program, has it been what you've expected so far? How has it met your expectations? It has been for me. I think that I had a clear understanding of West Star going into it. It was something that I really wanted to do. Um, and yeah, it's been very, very good. The sessions have been great and they've touched on all of the areas that I really expected them to touch on. The networking aspect has been phenomenal as far as, I think our class has really um, bonded well together and we've made some connections that are really gonna continue on and will help us do the things in our communities that we're wanting to do. Great. So it's been you know, having gone through Leadership Jackson, there were some uh, bonds that were developed and those bonds will last a lifetime. Now these bonds in West Star, I think are gonna be the same, but in a lot broader sense, mm -hmm. you know, there's if if you're going somewhere, there's somebody in the West Star class that you can contact and get ideas, get tips, sure. not just for business, but you know, if you're traveling, doing a road trip uh, or a day trip with the family is always nice to be able to sure. meet with somebody that you know they can show you around their community, and I think uh, that in itself is is priceless. Okay, great. Thank you. It, you know, just again, kind of focusing back on those bonds and those those relationships we're building. How do you think that the, uh, your involvement in West Star and those bonds will help shape your future career goals? I always get to go first. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think those connections are invaluable as far as, I mean, I am at one of, I guess, more of the beginning of my career as opposed to have been in what I'm doing for 20 years or so, and I think she's that saying that I'm at the end of my career. Is what I was trying to say it nicely. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Keep going. <laughs> and so I really feel like, for me, someone in my position, that um, those connections are going to be very important because, um, I mean, I want to. I want to. Okay, we're gonna. I don't know what we're gonna say here. You're gonna have to edit that. Just keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Okay. Um, you have aspirations to go beyond. Right, but I don't wanna say that on camera. Okay. Um, for me, <laughs> working in the newspaper, it's it's always nice to get to know the the community as a whole and the and the regions that we we serve, 
And with the internet, I'm the digital uh, manager at the Jackson mm -hmm. Sun, the world is shrinking, and you're seeing it more and more. Um, people are reaching out to others all over the globe, and I think getting to know people locally is going to help me just, just carry the brand forward and show people that we're not just a newspaper, for example. We're information, and the information is going to be gathered and uh, shared through any device, and having these people as part of my group and my team, I think, is going to help me a lot. Great. Thank you. Okay, you can go back to me now. Okay. You're going to edit the first part. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Ask me again. You're going to have to pretend like I didn't say anything earlier. <laughs> How do you think your Western involvement currently will help shape your future career goals? Well, I think that being at the beginning stages, I guess, of my career um, and not having 20 years or so in already. Um, She's talking about me. Yes, I am. But I said it nicely. <laughs> that it's really going to be beneficial because those connections are so important to what I do. And even in the job that I do now, as far as with economic and community development, taking ideas and um, things that I see in other communities and implementing those in Gibson County. What would you like to see the West Star, West Star program become in the next 20, 25 years? Martin, if you had that long. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I already yeah. told you. <laughs> yeah, if I'm still around in 25 years, um, really, I don't. I think the just like with any leadership program, the the program evolves based on uh, the experiences and uh, feedback from every class. Mm -hmm. So, I can't for, foresee in my next 25 years, but I think the program will continue to become re continue to be relevant. Um, for everybody that goes through it. And I think the people that are running it, uh, Charlie and the Virginia and mm -hmm. Jackie, I think they're doing a great job mm -hmm. making sure that the, uh, the sessions that we have are very relevant to our current situation, which changes all the time. Mm -hmm. sure. I definitely agree. I second everything you said as far as that goes. I think that it is very relevant and will continue to be so. Great. Um, so Different question to answer here. What uh, what do you think is the most critical issue that we face here in West Tennessee currently, Shelby? Um, I'm going to say workforce and the job situation that we have in West Tennessee right now because West Tennessee is so rural, and um, we do miss out sometimes on some of the bigger job opportunities coming in here. And even if we landed those. Do we have the workforce to support it? Do we have those students that are ready to enter the workforce, whether from college or from high school, from technical education? And that's really something that we need to work on in West Tennessee, and that we are working on. Um, but we need to we need to definitely see big strides happening there to overcome that. Okay. I think uh, to Shelby's point, I think education and developing the skill sets for a ever-changing world with technology being at the forefront. I don't think in the digital world you've got your hubs, you know, the, the, the cities that have broadband internet and a lot of these small towns are still on, on dial-up and they can't get the information that's out there and uh, hence the, the education part, you know, online learning and things like that you can't do it on a dial-up uh, account. Sure. The, the, the saving grace, though, is a smartphone now, and you, you're getting 4G and LTE service, um, which will provide quicker access to the Internet. But again, if people can't have those devices, they can't utilize them, and they can't learn because of that. Sure. So. Okay, great. Last question. Realizing we have three sessions left, maybe protecting, changing the names to protect the innocent here, What's your most memorable West Star experience to date? Hmm. That we can talk about? Yeah. Yes. It yeah, happens at West Star State at West Star. <laughs> I, I plead the fifth. I'm <laughs> not going there. Um, I, one, of the most, uh, one of the neatest things is meeting somebody for the first time. And, and everybody has a first opinion. Mm -hmm. And seeing that person throughout the sessions, listening to them talk, and then seeing them on a social, you know, at the receptions mm -hmm. on, on that level, 
and just getting to know them where you just think, my God, I was so wrong about this person. And, uh, and uh, just really seeing them for who they are. And I think that's the beauty of Westar. You see them professionally, but you see them let their hair down and get to truly know them as a person on a personal level that way. Sure. I think you very diplomatically ran around that question. <laughs> <laughs> I'm running for politics. Well, what did you have to add there? <laughs> Most memorable experience. Memorable experience. Besides Mark and I, of course. Yeah. Well, yeah. yeah, I was going there, of course, naturally. But, hmm, let's see. Most memorable thus far would have to be that we can talk about, let's see. Again, it's a difficult Maybe one. all the girls singing karaoke that night. That was okay. That was good. We can't actually discuss names or anything like that. That's right. But I'm going to go with that. Or locations. Or locations or anything else or songs. But... See, at least I answered. You ran around it. I ran, I it was ran, good. Ran, I ran, I ran. You ran around it. I'm on a spin doctor. Let me go. Let's that's right. That's right. It's, it's all been very good, though. It has. What about for you? Uh, you know, I, kind of along the same lines with you. I mean, coming into a group of, of, you know, 30 other people that you do not know. I mean, you know, obviously we had a relationship. We knew each other coming into it. But for the most part, these are people that from different regions that you've never met before and it really have I would not really have a reason to meet them right my class was going forward uh, if it were not for West Star. So getting to know those folks on on that personal individual level like you touched on earlier, having those connections going forward to know that you know even just passing through somewhere you can call up somebody, hey let's go have a bite to eat and catch up and, and feel like it it'll be just like we saw mm -hmm. each other yesterday. Yeah. So just having that bond and those connections is, is just invaluable. I think no even experience. to add on that, the support system that we're already showing, even being in this class, like one of our classmates, Jim Bell, danced in the Dancing with the Stars event for yes. Haywood County, and we had a good showing of our West Star classes, yes. the folks that were able to come that day to support him, and, you know, otherwise I wouldn't have been at that event, you sure. know, and it was mm -hmm. great, and mm -hmm. it was fun, oh, and yeah. I got to experience it with my fellow classmates and support a classmate, and I think that was great. Absolutely. And if you're watching this in 2028, which is... A lot past. After yes. we'll be gone for a After while. After we'll be gone. And Facebook is a, is a distant memory. The pictures from Facebook were pretty awesome from that event. <laughs> That's right. That's right. right. Absolutely. So. Well, guys, thank you very much. I appreciate your time. And uh, today, I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you.